Hi, I'm Jeff Todd, President and CEO at Prevent Blindness. Welcome to our Focus on Eye Health Expert Series. Today, I'm excited to welcome Dr. Michael Chang, Director of the National Eye Institute, to talk about vision research and its role in advancing public health. Thanks for joining me, Dr. Chang. Um, Jeff, great to be here, and thank you for the invitation. Here at Prevent Blindness, our really our primary focus is improving equitable access to eye care. And I know this is a big, big topic, but what is NEI doing to address health disparities? You know, I alluded to our strategic plan and we, uh, the way that we organized it is seven, what we called cross-cutting areas of emphasis. And one of our areas of emphasis is what we called public health and health disparities. Um, We've never had anything like that in an NEI strategic plan um, before. Uh, and so, so I would start out by saying, yes, we are definitely interested in how to incorporate more of this um, into our portfolio. And I think one of the first steps is just understanding what are these social determinants of eye health? Uh, you know, Why are people going blind from treatable disease in 2023? And, um, you know, there's, statistics, uh, you know, we, we talked about refra- uncorrected refractive error and um, a cataract surgery. And, and these are things that you know, are, are very standard in terms of eye care these days. Um, uh, but we um, have a statistic that if you're a black person in the US compared to a white person in the US, you are 15% less likely to get, to get cataract surgery. And you know, obviously, when care is provided, um, uh, there's good evidence that outcomes um, aren't the same. Uh, you know, when you look at um, you know you know different populations, and I, I think those are um, uh, big challenges. And one of the things that we've tried to do is partner with other organizations, um, and one of them is um, NIMHD, uh, the National Institutes of Minority Health and Health Disparities um, at the NIH, and we've been working with them uh, to try to. Uh, to, to plan a workshop on better understanding, uh, uh, you know, what these challenges are and how to address them. And the, um, uh, you know, Jimmy Lay is one of our program officers who's been leading from our end uh, to plan this workshop. And there's a couple goals. Uh, one of them is to look at approaches toward addressing disparities for very specific problems. It's those things I talked about before, unoperated uh, cataract and uncorrected refractive error. And we're also looking at potentially broadening that to glaucoma and diabetic retinopathy um, uh, management. And another goal of the workshop is basically to look at what are some scientific approaches that we should be taking toward better understanding the underlying basis for health disparities in uh, uh, eye care and vision care, and you know, with the premise that if we better understand it, we can know how to target those um, uh, research projects in the um, in the future. I, I think that clearly one of the um, uh, other things that uh, you know, actually, I should say one of the other partnerships um, that uh, you know we've um, uh, gotten into is you know working with a, a trans NIH project called Compass. Uh, it's a so-called common fund project. It goes across all of NIH and it's almost $400 million over 10 years uh, looking at community partnerships in um, uh, uh, healthcare. And, um, you know, basically, uh, you know, looking at structural interventions to address, um, uh, you know, these social determinants that can change, um, that can really constrain uh, health behaviors and uh, health outcomes. And lastly, I, I would say that one of the things that we've really um, uh, gotten interested in is trying to build a more diverse workforce. Um, and just to highlight one uh, project that we worked on, um, uh, two of our folks at NEI, um, Davina Fan and Maria Zacharias, led a project that was called um, Eye on the Future. And the, the basic video contest for high school students to try to get them interested in um, uh, vision. And you know, th- th- just we wanna build our workforce basically. And you know, we targeted it toward um, high school students from underrepresented um, backgrounds uh, in science and medicine. And you know, for the 10 winners basically brought them to NEI 
for a day and toured them around, had them meet some of the um, uh, scientists, uh, do dissections, and um, you know get to meet people. And you know we actually had two fantastic young um, uh, clinician scientists who are working on health disparities. One was Kristen Nwanyamu, who's from Yale, and one's Angela Elam, who's from the University of Michigan. And uh, they spoke beautifully, and I thought were really inspirational to these, um, you know, the students who were visiting. And you know, ultimately, I think there's a lot that um, uh, you know we'll need to do. But this is these are some of the things that we've been trying to do to to um, you know move the field along. I actually just spoke with Dr. Wanyan Wu on on one of these videos a couple weeks ago. She's she's terrific. Um, well, this this is really great work you're doing, and we were so impressed with the strategic plan and that you actually did include um, public health and health disparities. So big kudos to NEI for for doing that. And um, Jeff, the, the last thing I would end on is something that you that, that was the foundation of one of your questions. Um, that uh, you know, a lot has happened because of this pandemic, and I would say that this is obvious, but. It, this pandemic exposed a lot of inequities in this country. And um, the, the best science that we can do uh, isn't nearly as useful if it's not accessible to people, especially if it's not accessible to people who need it the most. Uh, so I, I think that we've got a lot of work to do in science and clinical care. And we've also got a lot of work to do in terms of addressing these gaps in public health and, and just in health equity. I think that's so true. I mean, ultimately, the best way to measure a communities or a country's public health is by measuring the health of those who have the least access. And so that's what public health to me is, is really all about. Well, thank you, Dr. Chang. Really appreciated the time today. Thanks for joining us. Um, thank you very much for having me here, Jeff.